Hi, this is Jack, and here I am in my beta world, my number two city. And if you look at the top side, you will see we've got a new event that started today while I was at the dentist. I just got back. Let's have a look. There we are, Walpurgis Night. Uh, a spooky event. See the full announcement. Let's go to the forum. There you go. Nice picture. The event runs from April the 16th today till April the 26th and if things go the way it normally works normally these events will come a week later to you in the live worlds so we would expect that you will get it on the 23rd and it'll run till May the 3rd. There you are, there is the prize. It's 10 days long or just over 10 days and there's only one single prize, a combined uh, culture and population building. I'll be showing you that now. For the first time ever, in response to player feedback, they are putting intermediate rewards in, which we'll show you those. Uh, you get little culture buildings from the quest. So that's great. That's very nice. Okay, so there's the new screen. If you click on it, it will take you to this icon. There you go. Produce two beverages, and you get some relics. The second quest line the icon merely records the progress of the event. There are 48 quests and there you go, I've done one. <laughs> yes indeed, I actually did do one because I collected some coins quickly while I was cleaning the place up before starting the video. Let's go and look at our note. I've got an event note. There we go, nice picture. I've put in the dates. There's the forum announcement that I just showed you. Okay, now I put this in all my notes. You see, firstly you must make a bookmark. Don't copy what you're going to find here because I keep changing it. I'll change it over and over again over the next week. So rather just bookmark it. There's how you do it. And you can come back whenever you want to have a look. If you don't fiddle with this document, all you need to do to go up and down on that side of the screen over there, there's a scroll bar. You just grab it and you can go all the way up and you can go all the way down. Okay, and of course you can use Control plus F to search within the document. Here we go. 48 quests. I've highlighted the ones that are requiring you to start thinking about them in advance because you'll do much better on this event if you prepare some of this stuff. All right. Now, here we go. Dark signpost. Okay. A culture building. So instead of just getting junk as your rewards, we're actually getting something we can use. I'll, I'll show you a bit further down. I want to say thank you to Heather who produced these quests for us. I think she spends real money <laughs> because the event's only been going a couple of hours and she's already managed to get 24 for us. I think she uses her supply of instants, time instants, and I think she buys a couple of diamonds to do it as well. Well, thank you very much. We believe in uh, verifying these quests by gameplay. We don't go and break open the... Ooh, there's no to be in break. I'll have to take it out a bit later. Uh, breaking open the game file, we do this thing, uh, what, what I say, straight, the straight way. Okay, there's just the one prize. It's a combination of population and culture. And I will scratch around and I will see if I can get you the value in the different chapters because it changes in each chapter. Remember that the value of your building will increase to the new chapter when you finish advanced scouts. So, if there are a couple of days till the event ends, don't grab that building. Wait until you've finished your advanced scouts in your new chapter. Then you get a better building. Okay, there we are. So far, we have three little culture buildings that I showed you above. But they're all little tiny, tiny ones. But we always have tiny, tiny spaces in our city. And it's nice to have uh, something that you can't buy in the shop. Something with a better value that you can plonk in there. Uh, one of the places that I put them, for example, is at the end of streets. You always have a couple of blocks at the end of streets that don't need to be there. You can pop your silver unicorn in. It's two by one. goes very nicely at the end of a road, and you get extra culture that way. When the event opens, there's a new loading screen. Rather pretty, I think. I've showed you these two icons and what they do already. Gameplay tips. I, I have a, a wad of these things from previous events. I haven't had a chance to plonk them in yet, but I'll, I'll do them. A lot of the gameplay tips that you will find here when I do them in, in the next day uh, are also in the quest. Let's go and look. 
See, for example, here, move one building. Okay, now I've put in the little gameplay tip there, which will also appear below, which is just pick it up and put it down again. You don't have to actually move it. Here's another one. Recruit a good number of units. Well, there's a slider in, in your training window. I'm going to put the picture in later to show you. I have a picture, a little illustrative graphic. And you don't have to take more units than you want. If you want to save time, you can put in exactly the number you need for the quest. So that's quite clever. Okay, comments. I always put a lot of comments in from what my fellow players have to say, from what the group says, from what we read in the forums. We were rather critical in the last event because there were many things that we thought could be improved. Uh, it really does look, the 24 quests that I've seen so far look very doable and there's some, you know, they look interesting for a change. There's some new little angles, there are little culture buildings you get as rewards. Uh, all in all, this is a much more appetizing looking event so far but watch the space because i'll have a lot more to say if you pop back in a week's time you'll see it i've written a lot more here just a reminder elvenar platinum leaf is a public open facebook group uh, no restrictions anyone can join you're most welcome to join us it's completely independent there are no inner game staff on our team so we say what we want to say there's nobody telling us you can't say this you can't say that we have a lot of very active players, there's a lot of discussion. If you have questions, people will give you different answers, not just mine. Uh, we have 250 what we call info tips. These are little nuggets of Elvenar information suited to advanced players or to beginners or whatever. All different kinds of tips. We also have 100 videos that you can find in the same YouTube channel. And if you do want to see uh, these breaking news videos that I produce, then just go down underneath the video on YouTube and hit where it says like and, and hit where it says subscribe. Then you'll get a notification whenever we make one. Thanks for watching this. Join us on Facebook. We'd love to see you there. Bye.